Well, it's broken. Finally got my part. Supposed to have been here yesterday. Just got it a few minutes ago. So hopefully I can uh, get a video made of me replacing this clutch. So there's the clutch. I got it tore down yesterday. And everything. I didn't pull the clutch out because I just wanted to make sure I got the right part before I did. But it started slipping on me real bad last weekend. So we ordered a new clutch. Uh, got the uh, got an Energy One. 10 disc clutch with the new spring um, there it is that kit's a BTX 14 but got some uh, Lucas primary chain case oil to go in but I'm gonna try to set up a camera and uh, try to show you what I'm doing replacing this clutch so hang around All right, everybody, getting ready to start on this clutch here. Let me try to show you what I'm doing here. Got this, uh, take this pressure plate off and everything else. We've got, these are 10 millimeter bolts. Kind of want to loosen these in the star pattern because it is under pressure. That spring's got pressure on it. So you don't want it flying off at you and damaging anything. So kind of loosen them up in a star pattern. I'll run them out a little bit. Get them loose and even. And yeah, I'm wearing a rubber glove trying to keep some oil off my hands. Don't judge. Could use a impact on this, you know, kind of run them out. Just be careful not to do it too fast. Get that, because uh, you don't want to pull these all the way out and get it on even. Maybe take a chance on bending or twisting that pressure plate. spring off set it aside got a new spring I'm going to use on there just pull this pressure plate off oh look at that looks like it's like most of these clutches are going to come with it let's so, take it pull all these clutches out this clutch actually don't look bad I don't know what the deal was why it went south, but in the back, I need a little pick or something, but you got this little it's a, a judder spring, they call it or something like that. But anyways, this new uh, kit, you do not have to use that. Uh, so, I probably don't want to come out for some, some reason. There we go. Jeez, and why is it gonna fight me? All right, and then you get one more little painting spring back here that don't seem to want to come out either. There it comes. On this new kit, you got so you got this 
spray and then this little jelly spray, it all fits in here together. And this new uh, extra disc clutch, this energy one, we don't use this part. So all this, all these parts we just took out, none of those go back in. I've had my uh, disc here soaking about 10, 15 minutes, soaking in oil. And so basically what we're gonna do, I'm soak, soaked in oil here. We're gonna start with the friction disc, slide it in, metal retaining ring. You gotta start with the friction disc and you're gonna end with one. So just kind of keep rotating back and forth on friction. friction. Just keep doing that till you get to the end. You start with the friction disc and you end with one. I don't know why this thing went south on me. Uh, Adjustment's always been kind of weird on it for some reason. I could never get clutch adjusted quite right. It seems like I ran out of cables. So I, almost like the cable was stretched or something. And I don't know. I still may have a problem. But anyways, when we was riding last weekend, like I said, man, I dropped this thing down to fifth gear. and RPM shot up. Bike didn't go anywhere. So it was slipping and then... Let us, we stopped, took a little break, let her cool off for a little bit, and done all right. Done all right the rest of the day, everything, but a couple times I was just like, I just got to try it, see if it slipped. You go and hit, hit it real hard, and everything, get a, it would slip. You get up there, upper RPMs, and start pulling on it real hard, it just, it would just slip. So there was something definitely wrong with it, I mean... Heck, we just rode 3,300 miles a couple months ago and didn't have a bit of problem. No problems whatsoever. At least, I'm, I'm thankful that it happened close to home instead of, you know, being out on the road somewhere and be stuck. So... I've been pretty fortunate with Harleys. They, they ain't... Never let me down. So, all right, once you get all those in, you got one more friction disc. Like I said, you start with a friction disc and you end with one. So, there we go. That's all in there. Everything. So now, we just go back on the pressure plate. Slide in on. And I got the new spring, which is a heavier spring, so I'm hoping that it will not affect that lever too much. Anyways, kind of line these up. Get these back in there, get that back in there. They kind of fall into place once once you get it going there. There I think so. Get these bolts started back. Everything to kind of line up. But, got that on, everything, so, what we'll do next is, I don't have my torque wrench out, I forgot to grab it, so, we're going to torque these down, specs on it is 90 inch pounds to 110 inch pounds, do it in a star pattern, so here, 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 do it down in a star pattern, like I said, man, this is an 09, so you might want to get a service manual for your bike or whatever. That way you got all those torque specs and all that and everything you need to know for your bike. But I'm going to get the torque wrench, and I'll be back. Okay, got the torque wrench. I kind of, the torque is uh, 90 to 110 inch pounds. I'm just splitting the difference doing 100 inch pounds. 
So like I said, we're gonna do this in a star pattern. So start here. Well, get the wrench working right. All right, try it again. I probably should have run these down a little bit more. Run these down a little bit more. Sit there and crank all day on the torque wrench. Oh. All right, looks like I'm still going to be cranking ways here. that even I mean, you don't want to damage that pressure plate whatsoever you see you guys this stuff ain't that hard to do uh, just take your time at it everything uh, you can save a, a lot of money not paying the, the steelerships. You know, you do it yourself. I don't know what dealer charge for a clutch job, but uh, I know Harley's probably about $100 an hour labor. Oh, uh, well, that don't seem real tight. I guess it does the job. It says 100 inch pounds. I'm not going to go through all the uh, clutch adjustment. That's what we're going to do next. Basically, loosen this jam nut and take and run this out. Um, and uh, take, screw that back in when you feel just touch, back it off anywhere from a half to a full turn. And uh, of course, you know, you got to take the slack out of your cable and all that and then slip, uh, set your uh, uh, free play. Up on your cable I usually the way I usually do it I usually pull my cable out and everything I put the nickel in there to do it but just uh, gives you like an eighth inch play it, I think Harley says 16th to a quarter some people some people run a quarter it, it just it's per, for personal preference I usually just use a nickel and slide in my on my housing I pull it out pull it out a little bit slide a nickel in my housing and uh, if it fits there that, that we're good that's worked for me for years. So I want to finish buttoning this thing up. And uh, next time you see it, it should be all finished and closed up and ready to ride. All right, everybody. I got it all buttoned back up. Well, it's sort of buttoned up. I got the primary back on. I got oil added to it. Um, but still got the pit floorboard, shifter, derby cover on. I did fill it up with 45 ounces of lucas primary chain oil i've never used this stuff i use lucas oil in the motors and everything i've used it for years had good luck with it so i thought i'd try the lucas primary and everything because it's easy accessible to get everything i run spectro in the in the bio bike but i may switch it to this uh if you guys have used it and everything leave a comment let me know what uh, how it works i think so but i gotta kind of quit got some company coming over some company coming over later so I'm gonna to try to get everything kind of cleaned up, get myself cleaned up and all that. But I will do a uh, review video on this uh, clutch and let you guys know how it works. Until next time, take it easy.